Kelly Clement here from Metastock. In this video, we're going to be talking about saving your settings in charts. So some different ways that you can actually set up and save your settings and ways that you can apply them. So let's go ahead and start by opening up a chart. So let's just open, uh, for example, let's just go with GM here. We'll go ahead and type GM, open our chart. And of course, this is the default chart in Metastock, but this may not be how you want to see charts on a daily basis. So let's talk about how to set up your charts that you want to see by default every day. Let's start by adding on a moving average. So let's just say I want a 50 period moving average and I would like it to be blue. And I want to go with a bar chart instead. We'll just go ahead and change that. And I'd also like the MACD histogram. So I'll go ahead and grab that, drag it on the chart, hit OK, and the MACD histogram goes on. And I also like a, a darker theme, so I'll come down here to chart themes and choose, let's go with black steel. Okay, so now my chart is set up for the way I want to see it on a daily basis. So what you'll want to do is right click and say, save as default template. Now I'll say replace and say yes. And then let's go ahead and close this chart now. Now, if you've opened up other charts before this one, it will remember what you've looked at before and not use your default that you just created there. So what we want to do is do something called delete smart charts. Now delete smart charts, just as a word of warning, will delete anything that you've done on charts previous to this. So text, notes, everything, they'll all be gone. So use that. If you don't want to do that, don't delete smart charts and it'll, it won't delete those out. And it'll give you this little warning and we'll say yes. And now if I come back here and now I want to open up a different symbol, let's say I want to open up Tesla, for example, you'll see it'll open up in my new default. So let's just say I want to go to another chart. I'll just start typing. I don't have to go back to the Power Console. And we'll go to Best Buy. And you'll see it just stays with this new default that I've set up. So that's a quick, easy way to save your settings and actually save it in the way that you want to see it on a daily basis. So uh, I hope you found that instructional. We'll cover some more about templates and different setups in the next video. Uh, so go ahead and keep watching.